So I'm Manuela, and here we have... Hi, I'm Lauren Elizabeth Harris, and she is the creator of the Black Hole documentary, and I heard that you started a GoFundMe, and it raised over $2,000. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I feel great. You know, the organizations that we're here representing today are doing such incredible work to fight human trafficking. So we really hope that we're able from this event to continue raising funds for them. So the more the better. Please keep sharing it. Yes, of course. And so you based this documentary of a book called The Shield Against the Monster. What made you read that book? So it's actually a really funny story. Okay. So Kirsten, who's my co-producer on the project, Kirsten Pfeiffer, she approached me about doing a project about human trafficking. And I, you know, like anything I take on, I called my mom and I'm like, what should I be doing here? Right. And my mom is like, you know what? I'm actually on the board of an organization for human trafficking called Dawn's Place. Yeah. So because she was on this board, she set up a meeting for me to meet with an incredible woman named Anne Marie Jones. Anne Marie Jones is a survivor of human trafficking and wrote the book, A Shield Against the Monster, um, with a nice woman named Carol Metzger. So basically through working with them and learning about their journey through human trafficking, the project came about. Kirsten and I talked about how we want to represent and make sure that we're telling human trafficking authentically and that was kind of how the project came about and then you guys went to Philadelphia and you actually had to experience you know with your own eyes what it's like to just see human trafficking in such a heavy area so how did you feel leaving that experience Yeah, I mean, it was crazy because I got really close to Anne-Marie Jones and to Carol. And, like, you know, I was baking cookies with them. I was playing with their cats. I met Anne-Marie's two beautiful twin daughters. And while that was happening, they took me to Kensington so I could see where Anne-Marie had been in the life for 10 years that she was being trafficked. And, I mean, we were seeing these women who were being trafficked, and we were actually bringing roses to them to tell them, like, hey... Anne-Marie knows what it feels like to be in your position, to be in that black hole. Um, She's here to help lift you out of that black hole as well. So, I mean, honestly, to say it was life-changing is an understatement. It was incredible to to know that we can make this impact from doing events like this on such an issue that's so prevalent and people don't realize that's happening in your backyards. Yeah, that's what you call a core memory. Unlocked, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and so what do you hope for people to gain from this documentary? Gosh, I think just an awareness that this is happening everywhere, that it doesn't just happen overseas, that it doesn't just happen to beautiful people, that it can happen to anyone and to everyone. And just to, you know, start doing something about it, donate to these organizations that we're here representing, donate to our GoFundMe, um, and just try to spread awareness and make a difference so that it can be stopped. And so... You've lived in six countries, right? You've studied in different countries. So what has been your favorite one? Oh my gosh, that's really hard. Um, Probably Spain. Me Um, too. Really? Yeah. Um, Yeah, yeah, just because I really loved the culture there. I came really close with a lot of people there. I'm actually going to Spain to to stay with the girl who I lived with when I was 16 because she's getting married to the person that she's been with since we were 16. That's so cute. I love that. (laughs) That's amazing. And what are some steps you think we can take to prevent human trafficking to stop? Yeah, that's a really tough question. I would say donating to organizations like this, spreading awareness, being aware of the signs, which we'll talk about later today on the panel, and just knowing what to look for. And if you see something, say something, and just be aware um, of the issue happening everywhere, and don't be afraid to speak up. Yeah. Did you ever have to take, you know, breaks while you were creating this because it's such a heavy topic to create? Did you, like, did you have to speak to a therapist? Like, how was that process for you? I mean, therapy is like yeah. my thing, you know, <laughs> so a big I'm advocate therapy all the time, whether yeah. I'm working on this project or not, yeah. but we didn't have to take breaks because there was just such a drive to make sure that this project was getting out there and we didn't want to just sit back and wait, you know, for the right moment or for the right thing to happen. It was like, no, we need to take action now. So I think that we didn't really take breaks because it was just a drive to get this completed. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. And your co-creator, Kirsten, what made you pick partner up with her? Kirsten and I have actually known each other since we were 12 years old. We met in an acting class over pink razor phones. We both had one. We were like, oh my God, 
we both have a pink razor phone, you know, because we were so young. And she went to UCLA, I went to USC, and we just have stayed friends ever since. That's so cute. Yeah. And you like acting the best, right? Yes. After, and then you like producing yes. and directing. Yes. Is, that the, is that the order? Acting, producing, writing, directing. That's yeah. amazing. Is there another category that you can potentially add to that later on? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Those are a lot of categories. Yeah. I'm a podcast host. Oh, yeah, yeah, the hosts of the podcast yeah. are here, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's another one. Yeah, yeah. That's my other category. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Cool. Well, I'm so excited to watch this. I cannot wait to tell everybody, raise awareness, and thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for being here, and thank yeah. you so much for talking with me. Of course. Bye. Bye. Yay. Thank